welcome back. It's been maybe like a week since I've recorded or a little bit longer. I was sick, so I took that time to rest and heal, but now I'm back feeling great. Really excited to record this class today. It will be a 50-ish minute balancing class. Lots of standing on one leg postures. Um, and just a few things, there's always a link to a Spotify playlist in the show notes below. Comment, like, subscribe if you are liking what you're seeing and always let me know any feedback you have, what you wanna see in the classes. Um, follow me on TikTok if you want more yoga tips and tricks. Also my Instagram will be linked below. Studio link is also in the show notes below where you can drop your email to stay in the know for when the studio will be launching. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get started in a standing position towards the top of the mat today. Feet are a little wider than hips width distance. Come into a ragdoll position. Generous bend through the knees here. Grab opposite elbows. Sway side to side. Shake the head no, and then shake it yes. Take some big inhales, and even bigger exhales. And just when you think you've emptied out all your air, press out just a little bit more. Soften down your eyes here, draw the senses inwards. Let the out breath melt away anything in the mind that is not here in this present moment. Know that our time together is for you. This is for your practice. And on an exhale, release the hands down. Plant the left hand towards the middle of the mat. Bend through the left knee, straighten through the right leg. Right hand comes high up towards the sky. Really draw the right hip back. Keep as much of a bend in the right knee as you need while we start to warm up our hamstrings. And on an exhale, bend through the right knee. Right hand will plant, left hand comes up towards the sky. Draw the left hip back. And on an exhale, Right hand, left hand comes down towards the earth. Inhale, start to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last to rise. Come into equal standing pose, samastitihi. Root down through all four corners of the feet. Maybe pick up the toes and set them ooh, back down. Get those yogi toes going. Really reach up and out through the trunk of the body, nice and tall on the crown of the head. Here, I'll invite you to set an intention for your practice. Make it unique to you. Whatever your body, your mind, your spirit, your emotions are asking of you today, tune into that and carry that with you for the duration of this practice. In breath. Circle the arms up, mountain pose, Tadasana. Bring the hands to interlace, heel toe the feet in so that they are hip width distance. Release the index fingers. Exhale, bend over towards the right. Glutes are engaged. Slight spin of the heart up towards the sky. Exhale, can you sink a little bit deeper? In breath to come through center. Out breath over towards the left. In breath to come back through center. Really engage through the glutes here. Exhale, start to shift the hips forward. Open the heart up towards the sky. Inhale to come back through center. Bring the hands down towards the heart space. On an inhale, lift the left foot away from the earth, come into half staff position with hands at prayer. Just start to find your balance through the right leg, engage through the core, 
really press the hands into each other so that the back of the body is fired up and start to straighten through the left leg. Left foot is flexed. Inhale, can you lift the left foot a little higher? Exhale, point the left foot. Inhale to flex. Exhale to point. Inhale to flex. Exhale to point. Inhale to flex. Hold here. Bring the left ankle to cross over the right knee. Sit the hips low. Figure four chair. Maybe you take some little bounces, some dynamic movement. I'm really feeling this in my outer left glute right now. And these little bounces help to get a little deeper and more of a gentle way for my body. And on an inhale, stand back up, bring the knee with you. Exhale, set the left foot down. Inhale, right foot to lift, half staff on the right or left. I actually don't know what this would be considered. Maybe someone can let me know in the comments below. Inhale to straighten through the right leg. On the next in breath, maybe you lift the right leg a little higher. Exhale to point. Inhale to flex. Exhale to point. Inhale to flex. Exhale to point, lift here. Inhale to flex. Exhale, cross the right ankle over the left knee. Sink the hips down. Chair figure four. Wow, I am sore in my glutes today. I've been trying one of Daniel Rama's flexibility courses and I'm so sore from them, it's crazy. And on an inhale, stand back up, right knee comes with you. Exhale, step the right foot down to meet the left. On an inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, come all the way through to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, really pull the hips back, reach the head forward. And on an exhale, sink the hips low. Chair pose, little to no weight in the toes. Slight round through the sacrum, biceps are nice and strong, framing the ears. On an exhale, can you sink a little bit deeper? We're gonna hold this one for a few breaths. Start to get some heat building through the thighs. Bring the thumbs to hook overhead. And on an inhale, stand up through the left leg. Right knee comes with you. Straighten through the right leg. Exhale, hinge it forward. Come into warrior three with the thumbs bound still. Maybe you play with pointing and flexing the back foot as well. And on an exhale, bend through the left knee. Tap the right toes on the earth. Inhale to come back up and straighten. Exhale to tap. In breath, come back up and straighten. Exhale to tap. Inhale to come back up. Exhale, release the left hand down. Right arm comes high towards the sky. Half moon. Really Pull the right hip open, open up through the heart space. Maybe you play with lifting the left hand away from the earth. And on an exhale, right hand comes down, left hand comes high, revolved half moon.
Inhale, can you lift the right leg a little higher? Exhale, left hand comes down. Standing splits. Option to bring the hands to the back of the left calf, left ankle. Pull the head forward and down towards the foot, towards the earth. Option to play with some handstand hops here. And on an exhale, release the right foot down to meet the left. Come into a forward fold, forward fold of your choice here. And gently release the hands wherever they may be. Inhale, roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Head is the last to rise. Circle the arms up. Exhale, come all the way through to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to shins. Exhale, sink the hips low. Chair pose. Little to no weight in the toes. Maybe you lift them off the mat and spread them out super wide and gently place them back down. Exhale, can you sink a little deeper? Can you reach a little taller with the hands? And on an inhale, press through the right leg. Left knee comes with you. Half step. Straighten through the left leg. Inhale, can you lift a little bit higher? Exhale, start to come forward into warrior three. And because I forgot to do so, we're gonna bring the thumbs to hook overhead while we're in warrior three. Do it the awkward way this time. Inhale, can you lift the left leg a little bit higher? Exhale, bend through the right knee, tap the left foot down. Inhale to come up. Exhale to tap. Inhale to come up. Exhale to tap. Inhale to come up. Hold here. Exhale, release the right hand down towards the earth. Left hand comes nice and high. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Really peel the left hip open towards the sky. Maybe you lift the right hand away from the earth and bring the gaze towards the top hand if you want to play with your balance. Inhale, lift the left leg higher. Exhale, left hand comes down towards the earth. Right hand comes high, revolved half moon. And on an exhale, bring the right hand down. Come into half splits. Left leg reaches nice and high. Exhale, set the left foot down to meet the right. Come into a forward fold of your choice, whether that's grabbing the big toes, sliding the hands underneath the feet, grabbing the calves from behind, whatever works for you. And gently release the hands. Inhale to roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Head is the last to rise. On the in breath, circle the arms up here. Exhale, cactus the heart to open towards the sky. Inhale to come back through center. Exhale, start to bring the weight into the left foot. Just lift the right foot to a hover off the earth. So you're really engaging through the glutes. Quads are super strong. You're contracting through like the quads and hamstrings. I just sounded like a valley girl saying like. That's great. Inhale, lift the right foot forward. And with the strength of the right leg, open it up towards the right side of the room. Inhale, can you lift the right leg even higher? And on an exhale, 
Come back into warrior three. And on the out breath, bend through the left knee, set the right foot down, come into a power lunge. Arms are really strong, framing the ears super high on the bottom end of the back foot. And on an exhale, slide the left hand across the right hand across the left arm and just open up to a star pose towards the wide edge of the mat. And on an exhale, come through wide legged forward fold. Forehead comes down towards the earth, or top of the head comes down towards the earth, I should say. Option to take a headstand here, tripod, whatever is in your practice. And on an inhale, press up, halfway lift. Hands come towards the back of the mat. Hands are framing the right foot, so we're in a runner's lunge and kick up, come into half splits on the right. Exhale, set the left foot down by the right foot. Inhale, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last to rise. On an in breath, circle the arms up. Exhale, gentle back bend, cactus the arms, open the heart up towards the sky. Inhale, to come back through center, distribute the weight into the right foot, press into the earth, use the strength of the left leg to just bring it to a hover without bending the left knee. And on an inhale, lift the left foot up straight in front of you, left toes are flexed. And on an exhale, left foot comes to the left side of the mat. Inhale, can you lift it a little higher? Exhale, come into your warrior three. On your next out breath, start to bend through the right knee. Set the left foot down. Come into a power lunge. Bring the left hand to the right hand. Slide it across the front of the body. Straighten through both legs. Pivot the feet towards the wide edge of the mat. So we're in a star pose. And on an exhale, sink the hips down. Come into a goddess squat. Really squeeze the scapula towards each other. Draw the elbows back. Reach tall through the crown of the head. Option to stay static here or take some little bits of movement. Exhale, can you sink even deeper? And on an inhale, straighten everything out. Star pose, exhale, come through to a forward fold. Head reaches towards the earth. And on an inhale, come up, halfway lift. Walk the hands back towards the top of the mat, pivot the feet forward. We are in a runner's lunge. And when you're ready, kick up into half splits on the left. Exhale, sit the right foot down next to the left foot. Come into a forward fold. Inhale to come up, halfway lift. Exhale, come into your chair pose. Slight tuck of the sacrum, reaching really tall through the arms. Fingers are so active here. 
Gently draw the hands through heart center. Twist over towards the right side of the room. Left elbow is hooking the outside of the right knee. Start to distribute the weight into the right foot. Press into the right foot, straighten through the leg. Bring the left leg back. So we're in a floating, twisted prayer. And gently come back through center. Set the left foot down. Inhale, hands back through heart center. Exhale, twist over towards the left. Start to distribute the weight into the left foot. Lift the right foot away from the earth, straighten through the left leg, Ooh. and then float the right leg long behind you. Keeping that elbow to knee connection for floating twisted prayer. And on an exhale, whew, set the right foot down next to the left foot. Come back through your chair pose, hands to heart center. Straighten through the arms one more time. Exhale, can you sink a little deeper? Come onto the ball mounts of the feet. Hold here. I know the legs are absolutely firing right now. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Drinking bird. And on an inhale, sink the feet down, arms come back forward. Exhale, sweep it back, ball mounts of the feet. Inhale, heels come down, sweep the arms forward. Exhale, sweep the arms back, ball mounts of the feet. Last round, inhale, arms come forward. Exhale, sweep it back, hold here for five, four, three, two, one, and gently release everything down. Forward fold. Take a forward fold of your choice. Maybe you shake side to side. I've been really into like bouncing and swaying right now. My body is thoroughly enjoying it. And on an inhale, start to roll up. One vertebrae at a time. Head is the last to rise. Come into equal standing pose. Sama Sitihi at the top of the mat. Check back in with the breath. Slow it down. Find stillness just for a moment. And on an in-breath, circle the arms up. Start to draw the right heel towards the right glute. We're just gonna hang out here for a moment. Really contract the right hamstring. Maybe you contract it so much that it starts to cramp. Draw the knees in towards each other. Bring the right hand to grab the, the right foot. Start to kick the right foot into the hand. Kick it so much that it starts to lever you forward. Come into dancer pose. Micro bend that left me just a little bit. Can you come even deeper into it? Find your fullest expression. And bring the left hand down to the mat. Right hand comes high. Come into half moon on the left. Really peel the right hip open. Option to stay here or grab the outside of the right foot. Come into chapasana. And if you've taken Chapasana, gently open back up here. Exhale, right hand comes down towards the earth. One more round of half split. Option to take some handstand hops if you would like. Bending through the left knee. 
hopping up, swapping out the feet. Maybe you catch some hang time in between these hops. And we'll meet back in standing splits on the left side when you've had enough play time. And on an exhale, set the right foot down next to the left foot. Inhale to roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last to rise. Draw the right knee back in towards the chest. Bring the sole of the right foot to the inside of the right ankle, calf or thigh. Come into tree pose. We're starting with some low branches today. Option to bring the hands to the heart or grow them nice and tall. And gently draw the hands back through center. Slide the right ankle in front of the left ankle. Come all the way through to a forward fold. And breath, come up, halfway lift. Twist towards the back of the mat so that the feet unwind. Walk it out into a high plank position. Take a Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale, lower halfway, squeeze the elbows in towards the ribs. Inhale over the tops of the feet for upward facing dog. Exhale back over the feet for downward facing dog. Inhale, shift the gaze between the hands. Exhale, hop, step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale to come up, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up, one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last to rise. Equal standing pose. Root down just for a second. Find your balance, feel the earth supporting you. Start to draw the left, or actually inhale, circle the arms up. Draw the left heel in towards the left glute. Really contract that hamstring. Draw the knees in towards each other. Back body is nice and long here. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left foot. Kick the foot into the hand so much that you start to lever forward. Dancer pose. Ooh. And if you need to fall out of it, that's okay. I'm always learning and growing in my practice with you, friends. And on an exhale, right foot comes down, straighten through the left leg. Sorry, right hand comes down, straighten through the left leg. Left hand comes high, so we're back in half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Option to stay here, bring the right hand, gosh, left hand to the outside of the left foot. Kick the foot into the hand. Open up through that left hip. And come back through half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Left hand comes down, half splits. Option to take some handstand hops here. If you did so on the other side, Really press in the hands, fingers are spread out nice and wide. Bend through the right knee, lift the left foot, right foot, swap it out with the left. And when you feel you've had enough play time, we'll end back on the right side in half splits. And gently release it down across the right ankle behind the left ankle, forward fold. And on an in-breath, come up, halfway lift, 
pivot back towards the top of the mat, unwind the feet, walk it out, come into a high plank position. Inhale to shift forward, exhale to lower halfway, inhale for upward facing dog, exhale for downward facing dog. Walk the hands back towards the feet, bring the toes to the wide edges of the mat, sink the hips down, come into Malasana Yogi Squat. Slow the breath back down here. I can hear my camera struggling to full focus right now. So sorry if this gets a little blurry. Bring the right hand to the outside of the right foot. Inhale, left hand comes high. Option to stay here or take a bind or half bind. Hands will come to meet. Behind you, pull the left chest open. Bonus, heel toe the left foot towards the middle of the mat. Press into the left foot, straighten through the left leg, keeping the bind. Come up into this variation of bird of paradise, but the chest is still parallel with the earth. And come out of it whenever you feel ready. Making your way out as slowly as you made your way in. Release the bind. Hands back through center. Pull the sacrum down. Reach tall through the crown of the head. Left hand comes to the outside of the left foot. Right hand comes high. Right hand will reach back and around towards the hip crease or for a full bind. Pull the right shoulder open. Heel to the right foot towards the middle of the mat. Press into all four corners of the feet. Straighten through the right leg. Chest is parallel with the earth still for this bird of paradise variation. And if you'd like, you can stand up all the way. I should have cued that on the other side, but always learning and growing, my friends. Okay, come out of it ever so slowly. Release the hands, come back through center. And gently sink the hips down towards the earth. Soles of the feet come to touch. Inhale, circle the arms up, nice and tall. Exhale, hinge it forward. Let the hands fall where they may. Let gravity pull the knees down and out. And on an inhale, walk the hands back towards the body. Bring the sole of the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, hinge over the right leg. Hands fall where they may, whether it's the foot, a block, the earth, the leg, Wherever the hands fall, still be active with them. And on the in-breath, walk the hands back towards the body. Plant the left hand on the earth behind you. Come on to the left shin, sole of the right foot presses into the earth. So we're in this gait variation. Right hand reaches up or back. And on an exhale, sink the hips back down. Open the left knee up even wider here. So now the heel comes to the pubic bone. Bring the right hand 
to the inside of the right foot. Left elbow comes towards the earth. It's inside of the right knee, sorry, right elbow. It's so confusing. <laughs> Inhale, left hand reaches up and over. So you're getting this really big side body stretch through the left. Left hand can grab the outside of the right foot to twist you even further open, or you can hang here if that is enough for you. And on the end breath, come back up through center. Swap it out. Left foot comes to the inside of the left thigh. So we have this 90 degree from the leg to the foot here where the ankle, the right ankle is. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, hinge it forward. Hands fall where they may. And on the in-breath, walk the hands back towards the body. Right hand comes to plant on the earth behind you. Shift onto the right shin. Sole of the left foot comes to meet the earth. Hips go up. Modified gait. And on an exhale, sink it back down. Open the right knee up even wider so that the right heel is towards the pubic bone. Left hand comes to the inside of the left foot. Left elbow is inside of the left knee. Inhale, right arm reaches nice and high here. Option to bring the right hand to the outside of the left foot. Pull the heart open. Really big side body stretch through the right side here. And start to come back up on the in breath. Straighten through both legs here. So we're in a seated straddle, setting up for pancake position. Toes flex up towards the sky. In breath, circle the arms up super nice and tall. Out breath, hinge forward. Really ground the back of the legs into the earth. And when you feel like you can't reach anymore, set the hands down. And walk the hands back towards the body. Swing both legs towards the top of the mat. Inhale, circle the arms up. Exhale, hinge it forward. And on the in-breath, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Plant the hands behind you. Slide the heels towards the wide edges of the mat, in towards the body, and just windshield wiper the knees here. Left to right, right to left. And slide the feet back towards the top of the mat. Arms come parallel with your Exhale, roll down onto the back body ever so slowly. Arms go overhead, full body stretch. And on an exhale, bring the right knee in towards the right armpit, wind removing pose just for one round of breath. And on your next out breath, right knee crosses over the left side of the body. This is another pose I selfishly do in all of my classes because I've been having this lower back pain for months, like a really deep sacral pain, and I haven't quite figured out what it is, and neither has a chiropractor, 
but supine twist always feels really good and I get some nice deep cracks through here. Sometimes I bring the right hand to push the top of the right glute even further into the twist. And start to roll onto that left side of the body so much that you come onto the front of the body, come into half a frog position. If you need to, you can bring a little blanket under the right knee, knees parallel, or knee is in line with hip, ankles in line with knee. Maybe you shift a little over towards the right side to get even further into that hip. And on an inhale, come through center, roll back onto the body, flip it over. So the right foot comes to meet the earth. Inhale, lift the left foot away from the earth, cross the left ankle over the right knee, sole of the right foot lifts, hands come to grab the back of the right thigh, left elbow presses into left knee, drop everything in towards the body. reclined figure four. That was a little delayed, but I still said it, so I'm proud. And start to slide the left knee in front of the right knee. Hands come to grab the outside edges of both feet. Reclined Gomukhasana, root the sacrum into the earth. Keep the feet lifted just a little bit away from the body. So not everything's tucked in here. We have a little bit of lift, maybe a little less than a 90 degree bend with the knees here. Pull in towards the body. And on an exhale, drop the knees over towards the right. So we're in this funky supine twist with crossed legs. And on the in-breath, come back through center. Unwind the knees, draw them both in towards the body, root the sacrum into the earth, massage it. Reverse the directions of those circles. and extend through the right leg. Keep the left knee in towards the body. One round of wind removing pose and on the out breath, the left knee comes over the right side of the body. Left hand presses into the top of the right left glute. Oh my gosh, the rights and lefts are so hard. I know one day I'll be a lot better at it. Or arms can come to a T. And on an exhale, start to roll onto the right side of the body. Roll so much that you come into half frog on the left. Forearms come underneath you. Knees in line with hip, ankles in line with knee. Maybe you shift onto that left side a little bit more to open up to that left hip. And we will be coming into full frog here. So we'll tuck the toes, lift the right knee, slide it forward, and shift the hips back. Once again, knees are in line with hips, ankles are in line with knees. I feel like you just saw my thinking face here. I just like scrunched it up and <laughs> was like trying to figure out what to say. Option to shift forwards and backwards. And if you're like, this is too much on my left knee, totally come out of it. So it's a lot on my knee here too. I should have grabbed a blanket. One of these days, maybe I'll have a really big yoga mat. And shift forward. Slide the right leg long behind you one more time. Come back through half frog. Roll back on to the back side of the body. Left knees in towards the chest until you set it down on the earth. Lift the right ankle away from the earth. Right ankle crosses over the left knee. Lift the left foot away from the earth. Hands come to clasp behind the left thigh. Right elbow presses the right knee forward. Reclined figure four. And on the out breath, slide the right knee in front of the left knee. Hands come to grab the outside edges of the feet. Root the sacrum into the earth. Pull everything in towards the body.
Uh-oh, I hear Twain moving in the room next door. What's he up to? On an exhale, drop the knees over towards the left. So we're in this funky supine twist. And on an inhale, come back through center, unwind the legs. Soles of the feet come to the earth towards the wide edges of the mat. Hands can come wherever you would like them to come here. Just windshield wipe for the knees. And on an exhale, release, straighten through the legs. Come into your final resting pose of class Shavasana. Let the breath return to its normal rhythmic state. Soften down the eyes. Go inwards here. Maybe you're starting to cultivate a sense of gratitude in yourself for showing up to your mat, showing up to this practice. If you feel ready to do so, wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Big breath will bring the arms overhead, full body stretch. The out breath will roll you onto either side of the body, coming through fetal position just for a moment until you press your way up through your hands, coming into a seated position. Gaze is softer, closed hands come to heart center. Drive the thumbs into the sternum, just over the heart space. Feel this beautiful energy that you have cultivated, that you have moved in the time that we have had together. Thank you so much, friends, truly from the bottom of my heart for supporting me in this journey and supporting yourselves in this journey of yoga. It is ever evolving, ever changing. Our bodies are different every single day. So thank you so much. It's such a great practice to be shared and I am truly honored. Until next time, friends, namaste.